So, Lone Rider here. And uh, maybe like me, if you've been following current events, you're aware of the allegations that um, some gun control groups, like I think it was Every Town to Prevent Gun Violence or something, uh, had inflated the number of school shootings that allegedly happened by including things like a police officer or a security officer has an accidental discharge or um, a shooting takes place, you know, outside of school when it's closed and it's not in session and, you know, uh, in one case, uh, you know, somebody found that a, a BB gun had been fired, again, overnight while nobody was in the school and it had happened to break a window or something, but, you know, who knows if it was intentionally fired at the school or if, you know, if it was even, you know, it could have been fired from, you know, somebody, somebody could have been trying to, you know, plant cans in their backyard and been careless. Uh, who knows if it was deliberate stuff like that that when we think of school shootings isn't what we normally think of um, I mean just the fact that they included several incidents where police or security officers had an accidental discharge um, you know the the reason that people talk about school shootings is because they're trying to address the issue of gun violence by criminals by people who, who misuse guns and uh, certainly nobody, not even the staunchest gun control advocate, is arguing that police and security officers shouldn't have guns. So why would you include those statistics? They're not relevant. The, um, you know, nobody's arguing that policemen shouldn't have guns because they might go on a rampage. The arguments are against gun ownership by private individuals because of concerns about them committing crimes. So whether or not that's a legitimate thing and that's almost separate from the point that simply the fact that they included police or security officers having an accidental discharge it's not good but it's not a mass shooting it's not what we normally think of when we think of a, a criminal school shooting um, perhaps you've heard of that uh, issue and it's certainly it's an open question why would a group that seeks to curtail allegedly seeks to curtail um, criminal shootings misrepresent how many criminal shootings occur. I mean, uh, if they have a sound argument, why play fast and loose with the facts? Open question. But then there's this issue. What about other instances where the number of shootings has been mis misrepresented? What about, for example, the Department of Education, the United States Department of Education? Um, for the 2015-2016 school year, they actually tracked the number of school shootings, and they claimed there were over 200 schools that had a shooting incident. Uh, NPR actually studied this. They took several months. They actually called all the schools, talked to them. They found out that over 60% of these incidents never happened. They were flights of fancy, misreporting, um, bogus excuse me and this to me is alarming it's more alarming than a gun control group misrepresenting statistics because the gun control group after all has uh, a stated political ideology they seek to curtail firearm ownership uh, that's just th their political goal is they want they want more strict rules for guns so uh, you almost it's still wrong when they lie or misrepresent things, but you, you kind of almost expect that they're going to try and skew things to favor their argument. The Department of Education, however, is a government institution. It's not a lobby group. It's not a gun control lobby group. So why would they, why would they say there were all of these incidents and then it turns out 60% of them never happened? I honestly don't know. Was this... Um, you know just the fact that stuff was misreported was this people maybe wanting to believe what they thought they heard because they had a um, you know political agenda one way or the other about guns and well if we can make this look like more of an issue maybe someone will pass the law we want I honestly don't know I, I can't say I, I don't know what was going on in their head but the fact that the United States Department of Education misreported the number of school shootings, something that you think would be very hard to get wrong because they make the news precisely because they're 
they're unusual and they're tragic and they're significant. Um, it just, it boggles the mind. It boggles the mind and it makes you think. So, you know, going forward, when you hear stuff in the news, when you hear figures thrown around, when you hear numbers thrown around, ask yourself, is that figure correct? And, and does that have a bearing on, you know, what people are trying to say and, and maybe what the real situation is? Um, I, I still find it hard to, you know, a lot of people rip on NPR and say, uh, you know, public uh, broadcasting. I have to give them credit for actually following up on this and trying to see if it could be substantiated or not. And I think it's very significant that more than half of the so-called reported school shootings never occurred. According to NPR, not according to the National Rifle Association, not according to some gun rights group, according to NPR which can hardly be said to have a pro-gun bias. So, you know, wow. I mean, that's, I, I don't know about you, this is gonna seriously make me think going forward when I hear stuff in the news, uh, in terms of people quoting statistics, it's gonna seriously make me think long and hard about where those numbers come from and how accurate they are. And I would humbly suggest that it make you think too. Bone Rider out.